Ooh. Somebody tried to get in there. <laughs> Holy cow, it worked. Well, good evening, everybody. Welcome back. Thanks for joining in with me, my fellow outdoor enthusiasts. Today, I've got a problem. And let me know down in the comments below if any of you have ever had a trash panda problem. I don't know, do they even call them trash pandas anymore? I don't know. Anyway, I've got a raccoon problem. Now granted, part of it is my fault. The trash can that I have was broken by the trash man and I just never replaced it. And for the last couple weeks, I've been having trash pretty much yanked out of the bottom of my trash can and I'm fed up with it. So, I'll show you a little bit of the aftermath. I cleaned it up this morning. I wish I would have actually took a picture of it or filmed it because there was trash everywhere. I mean, here, you can see. There's remnants of it there. I cleaned up a lot of it. This whole area was trash. And again, that is my temporary fix. <laughs> to my broken crack dump. I figure since I taped it, they're probably going to come back tonight and they're going to see the tape job and they're not going to come back. Eventually I'm going to get a new trash can, but I've just been so busy and I've been trying to get this at least replaced, fixed or something, but I don't need raccoons in the area. Nobody else needs net raccoons around here and I'm going to get rid of them. For you animal lovers out there, I'm one of them as well, but when it comes to pests, I, I don't like them. Because it is partially my fault, I'm not going to dispatch Ricky. I'm going to do it the humane way. I'm going to relocate them, and here's how I'm going to do it. I've got a large trap. The humane solution for relocating unwanted animals. Well, that's exactly what I've got. And shout out to you, Uncle Mike, for letting me borrow this. I think he got this at Farm and Home or Rural King. It's two traps in one. I mean, I don't know what he paid for it, but anyway, I'm going to get this set up and show you what I'm going to do. So, a couple zip ties later, and here we go. Zoom out a little bit. So how this works for the people that don't know. This is, this is a pressure plate, so when they step on it, they have to come all the way in here, step on it, and it releases this little this little latch. So I'll show you how this goes up. This is the keep. This is the so you can see that that won't allow this to go back. So lift that up, get that over there, pull up on the trap door and you see that little groove in there so as I lift up the plate you can see that kind of want to go under there well I got to help it a little bit just to make sure that it's nice and strong all right see my finger so this is the trap so I've let go here's my other hand Oop pretty sensitive. I'll push that in there for a little extra oomph. But now you can see that that is in there and the trap door is open and set. So there's the trap. The kick plate I guess you can call it. A little Ricky comes in, he's walking, he sees some food he wants to get but I'm gonna put the food way back here so he has to go all the way in here. Steps on the kick plate trap door is released and he is in there at least that's how it's supposed to go <laughs> we'll see all right so I'm gonna go set it up and um, you're gonna come with me so here's the scene of the crime right here so I basically just walked on the other side of the trash can you can see I was standing over there got the trap so I'm going to set the trap up on the other side of my door here, because I've seen them go this way. So there's, there's my trash can. Remnants of the aftermath of those criminals. <laughs> I 
So I'm going to set it up over here on the other side of this door. Um, I may have to move it, but um, I like it in this spot because, like I said, I've seen them pop around this corner. And I think this is a good spot. Plus, I'm going to try and get it on film for you guys. Anyway, now for the bait. So what I have here is my own little concoction. It's actually my trail mix. Uh, but I've added one of my favorite things is peanut butter pretzel bites. Those are freaking awesome. And just trail mix and some extra cashews and all the little dust particles. And there's raisins and other stuff in there. So that should be a very tasty treat with a lot of good smells. I love it. Why would you pass it up? All right. So here's what I'm going to do. Sprinkle some of it back here. Oh, yeah. That's a good, you're going to be able to reach in from here and get some stuff, but hopefully that attracts them enough to want to come inside and get the rest. And now we're going to set the trap. So again, pull this latch up, flip that down, pull the door up. There's a daddy long leg. Get the latch set. And there we go. Now um, it's pretty close to being dark right now. So I'm hoping that all the neighbor's dogs are put away and aren't gonna sneak over here and try and get a snack tonight. If they are, no big deal. I'm gonna check it first thing in the morning. Hopefully, cross some fingers, that it goes well and we get that little criminal Ricky. For you folks out there that are upset because he may have a family, I mean, I don't know what to tell you, but this has got to happen. Anyway, check back with you guys tomorrow. You can see it's almost 6 a.m. It's starting to get light outside. Yeah, I'm going to make me some of that here in a little bit. Some coffee. Let's go check the trap. Yeah, you can see my tape job held. Ooh. Somebody tried to get in there. Interesting. Let's see what we got around the corner here. Looky there. <laughs> Holy cow, it worked. Oh my God, look at that. Oh, that's so great. What's going on, Ricky? What are you doing? Yeah, are you not happy? I bet you're not happy. Uh-huh. Well, now you learned. You learned a lesson today, didn't you? Just like I did. Wow, you moved the trap. The trap was right here. And he moved it over there. Ha <laughs> ha yes. Got him. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna check the camera here. All right, so we know we got him. <laughs> He's not happy. He's not happy at all. But I'm happy. I got him. It's going to be an interesting trip trying to relocate him. I've never done that before. Um, not sure what he's going to do. Probably just cover him up like with a blanket or something like that. And go take him somewhere else. I don't know what the word for that is. Inhumane? Take them far away, plus, you know, I don't think raccoons really go back home like dogs do. I don't know, maybe they do. Comment below, let me know if uh, they find their way back home. Also, let me know if, uh, if you guys have ever caught some raccoons and uh, what methods have you guys tried. This is the first raccoon I've ever caught, and yeah, I'm pretty happy about this little trap. Thanks again, Uncle Mike. So I just threw a blanket over the top of him. Hopefully it calms him down a little bit. Get him in the back of the truck here. And we'll be on our way. This seems to be pretty okay. Dispatch look. I'm sorry, we're at the release location. And 
nice little park. I got a question for you trappers out there. Um, do raccoons find their way home? Also, how can you tell if it's a male or a female? Let me know down in the comments below if you can tell just by looking at them if it's a male or a female. Alright. Well, he's still back in there. He's probably going to be super pissed. Oh, that's the door. Good, because I didn't remember where the door was. Well, he didn't pee or poop, so that's great. Okay, there he is. The woods are maybe 15 feet away. The door is facing that way. And if I remember correctly, the latching mechanism is on this side. Let's see how this goes. There we go. <laughs> All right. Oh man, that kind of freaked me out when he came bolting out of there. I'm glad he's gone. Hopefully, he doesn't find his way back to my house and we have to go through this process again. If you guys like today's video, let me know down in the comments below. Let me know what you would have done. You would have just dispatched him or did what I did and released him. Like I said, this is the first time I've ever trapped anything and. Um, probably could have done something better or more efficient. I don't know. Let me know. But anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.